This video is all about the A2 Certificate of Competency Qualification, or A2 CFC for short. The A2 CFC adds to the standard flying requirements set out by the CAA in the UK Drone Code by giving you more freedom. If you don't need this, feel free to stop watching and carry on flying safely within the Drone Code, of course. For everyone else, let me explain to you what the A2 CFC has to offer. Current manufactured drones don't meet all the new requirements and so the regulation will have a transitional period. An A2 CFC qualification will allow you to operate current aircraft weighing up to two kilograms. That range will cover everything from a Mavic Air 2 to a Phantom 4, but they must not be flown within 50 meters of uninvolved people. And as and when aircraft manufacturers catch up with the new regulations, you can fly properly certified and marked C2 aircraft weighing up to four kilograms, but still no closer than 30 meters horizontally from uninvolved people or five meters in low speed mode. The regulations relating to the A2 subcategory impose no limitations on how close you can fly to buildings. However, Civil Aviation Publication CAP 722 and the Air Navigation Order contain additional rules and guidance and should also be consulted. And don't forget, A2 CFC is valid for a period of five years. Perhaps you've previously been given an exemption or permission from the CAA, in particular a PFCO, to fly your drone. If that's the case, drone regulation now provides you with the choice upon renewal. Either continue with slight amendments to your exemption or see if you can operate solely under an A2 CFC. If you choose the latter, you'll need to undertake the training necessary to meet the new standards. Consortic offers this training to drone users within the UK and even lets you choose how it's delivered. If you'd like to learn more about an A2 CFC or any other drone training with Consortic, just visit consortic.com.